So today's scene is a group of people. And this group of people is a disjointed family of sorts, and most people can relate to that. So when I'm producing this scene, I'm putting it together for some people that are generic. And I've just decided to name it what I want to name it. And it doesn't matter if it's a name or not to you. It doesn't matter if it's a name or not to me. We often see that caveat at the end of the film that these characters are not actual representations of the real people, blah, 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 blah. And let's just do it as that. Practically, I'm entertained all the time by my angels. <laughs> Let me tell you, God's humor is hilarious. I have laughed my ass off, cried to tears, and Jesus Christ knows us completely. And when I let go, I completely let go, and I've never seen something as funny as I did as a show today on a ventriloquist who was performing in front of Simon Cowell and some others, and that guy had such perfect alliteration, I almost died laughing, and I haven't laughed like that in a long time. But I can't promise that this scene will be funny to anyone, but I'm going to perform this scene anyway because I've been asked to. So this is a scene about Maddox and McCoy, two boys who happen to be brothers who don't always like each other, but they're learning from their mamma, which is their grandma, to care for each other because she is recognizing that late in life they're going to have to learn to get along. So she and her late husband are always advising them. And in this scene, we've got one who is living and one who has died, who is an angel of sorts to one of the boys with spirit. And the other is a live woman who's allowing the boys to be boys, allowing the boys to curse and get away with a few words as they passionately talk out their differences. The love between these brothers is there, but it's not one of those things that runs deep because of the jealousy, because of the time management, because of being latchkey kids. And hopefully it's been like that a long time. But they're also having a good old time pissing all over their mom's new boyfriend. And when they do that, they really slap each other high fives and get off on the funniness of them. And hopefully they're rooting for a little guy, an underdog, who isn't much bigger than them.